Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in ASP.NET Core and Blazor application how to populate data dynamically from database into a checkbox list element. And here we got the final output. Let's click the checkbox binding. See here we got the output. The country names is populated into this checkbox elements dynamically from this SQL server table country which contains only three country names India, USA and Australia and these three countries have binded into this checkbox list items that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in Blazor app first we'll check the table in SQL server management studio I just logged into my database. The table name is a country which contains two columns, CID and C name. Now my aim is I want to populate this C name, which is a country named columns, into a checkbox list items in Blazor application. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new application. Go to project and I'm selecting the Blazor app. Click next. Let's give the project name is bind data checkbox list and I want to save this project in this code blazer folder click create after that I'm selecting this blazer server app template and here the project is created successfully let me close this default window now before writing the coding part, first we'll check the basic default output of our application, the Blazor application. Let's run this application. And this is the default output of our Blazor application. Now my aim is I'll create my navigation link in this sidebar. When a user clicks this navigation link, it will open one Razor component. On that razor component, I will show you the populate the data from the database table, the country names into a checkbox list element. So let's write the coding part. Switch to the core Visual Studio, stop debugging. Now first let's add the navigation link. For that, in the project, come to the bottom. And notice the shared folder, expand that one. In the shared folder, the second one is a nav menu.razor component, open that one. Here you can find some default navigation link. So let's create our new list item in this navigation links. This one is checkbox. And checkbox binding. And HF also I'm changing CHK bind. Now the next thing We'll add one razor component in this pages folder. So select the pages folder, right click the mouse, add. I'm selecting the razor component. Let's give the proper name for this component is checkbox binding. Enter. And here we got our the checkbox binding component, razor component. Now when a user clicks this checkbox binding link, I want to render this component on the browser so let's give the navigation link page directory between double quotes i'm adding forward slash let's add this href link name which is a chk bind copy that one and paste here that's it now let's check the output this navigation links is working or not And here we got a new output with the navigation link checkbox binding. Here we got the new razor component chk bind. The href link name is now. Let's bind the popular data into a checkbox list on this razor component. Stop debugging. So, first, when we are dealing with a particular database, we require the necessary DLL packages of that database. Here we are using SQL Server. And I'm using entity framework code so let's install some necessary packages before that let's 
let me expand this dependencies folder notice in this dependencies folder there is no any packages folder so let's install this packages select the project name right click the mouse go to manage nugget packages select that one after that go to browse and search for microsoft.entityframework core and this is the package i want to install select that one click install click ok accept the license and here notice uh, this package is installed successfully and also in the dependencies folder now we got the packages folder let me expand this packages folder see here the entity framework core is installed successfully into our project and the next package i want to install the sql server this is the one entity framework code.sql server click install okay accept the license and here the sql server is installed successfully after that we require the tools also because we are using entity framework core click install okay i accept the license and the tools package is also installed successfully after installing the necessary packages let's minimize this packages folder as well as dependencies and also i don't require this nugget package window let me close that one also now let's add a class in this data folder select the data folder right click the mouse add class this class is just a poker class which means it contains only properties so let's add the class name is the country class and here we got our country class let's add the properties first we need to add the key attribute when we add the key attribute notice the component model dot data annotations is added automatically after that let's define the property pop double tab it will create the property the first property is the integer type which is a, a column name is cid cid pop double tap string type c name which is a country name in our table we have two columns so i have created two properties here then we require the db context class so again in the data folder i am adding one more new class and this class name is the application db context class And here we got our db context class. In this db context class, I am inheriting the db context. So, first we need to install the package called using Microsoft.entity framework core. Then let's inherit the db context. This db context class is belongs to the entity framework core class. After that, let's create the constructor ctor it will create the constructor of this class in this constructor i'm adding db context options inside this options i'm adding application db context options colon base option then i'm adding one more property called db set this property is for my table name here if you notice the db set takes the t entities the t entities the entities we are getting from this country class so first let's install the data folder here my project name dot data folder this country class is inside the data folder so now we'll add our country class name so country class and here the property name is very important the property name must be our database table name our database table name is a country let's copy that one and paste here that's it after that now the next important step is we require the, the connection string to our sql server database so to get the proper connection string notice the server explorer click that one 
in the server explorer notice the data connections I click that one add connection in the server name my server name is this one desktop let's add that one desktop hyphen p b u d u o m after that once i add my sql server name i'll get here the databases see here the charan database the table i have created this country table is in the charan database this is a charan this is a country table let's select the database country charan test connection is succeeded okay okay and here the Charan database is added successfully and also notice in these properties there is a connection string which contains our data source. So let's copy the data source. Now let's add this data source into our project app settings.json file. Create a connection string. C is capital here. Connection strings. Colon double quotes my connection colon now between these double quotes I'm adding my database connection string let's add comma that's it we have added our connection string now let's open startup.cs we need to inject this DB connection string so let's add um, using microsoft dot entity framework core now in this app set startup dot cs file notice the configure services which contains all the services here we are adding our new service called db context in this db context i'm adding application db context class the class name options options dot use sql server in this use sql server method i'm adding configuration dot get connection string method this get connection string method takes my connection string name which is this one my connection copy that one and paste here so let's close with a colon So after adding the connection string, next step we require our service. In Blazor applications, every logic we have written in the services. So let's add one new folder in our application called services. Add the folder name is services. And in the services, I'm adding a class. Add class. The class name is country service. And here we got our country service. Now in the service, first let's import the necessary classes, bind data checkbox list dot data. And um, here um, we require here a protected, protected read only application db context underscore db context is an object let's create the constructor of this class inside this constructor i'm adding application db context class underscore db so here underscore db context is equals to underscore db after that here i'm adding one new function in that function i will return a code to fetch the records public list list class inside this list class the elements in this list i am getting from this country class the c name so country class display let's give the name display country after that this function return underscore db context dot my table name is a country dot to list method that's it now let's add this service into our razor component which is a checkbox binding dot razor first let's install uh, first let's add the classes first let's add using 
combine data checkboxes dot data and at using bind data checkboxes dot services after that we need to inherit that service method inherit you it's not using it's inherits warning component base inside this component base i'm adding my country service name this service name i'm adding after that here in the code i'm creating a class called list class which contains my class name country class create an object cc cc obj then then we require one method called override method protector override wild on initialize let's delete its default line and here i'm adding my service name so cc object is equals to service dot see here we got the service function name display country that's it now let's add the for loop at for each loop variable i come in i'm adding cc object inside this for each loop i'm adding input type type is equals to checkbox at cc object at item at item dot i want to bind the c name that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser let's run this application and here we got the final output checkbox binding oops here yeah. oops sorry i forgot to add this service here yeah. this service name we need to add in the startup.cs file in the configure services first let's add the service name using using bind data checkbox list dot services then in this configure services let's add the services add scope my service name is country services that's it let's stop debugging using that now we'll check the final output and here we got the final output let's click the checkbox binding see here we got the output the country names is populated into this checkbox elements dynamically from this SQL server table country which contains only three country names India, USA and Australia and these three countries have binded into this checkbox list items that's it that's it in this tutorial I have explained how to populate data dynamically into a checkbox list in ASP.NET Core Blazor application